Hello, today's daily reading comes from the book of the Apocrypha. We are reading from the book of Jasher, chapter 49, and it reads as follows. After these things, the king sent and assembled all his officers and servants and all the princes and nobles belonging to the king, and they all came before the king. And the king said unto them, Behold, you have seen and heard all the words of this Hebrew man and all the signs which he declared would come to pass, and not any of his words have fallen to the ground. You know that he has given a proper interpretation of the dream, and it will surely come to pass. Now therefore take counsel, and know that you will do, and how the land will be delivered from the famine. Seek now, and see whether the light can be found, and though in whose heart there is wisdom and knowledge, and I will appoint him over the land. For you have heard what the Hebrew man was advised concerning this to save the land from the famine. And I know that the land will not be delivered from the famine, but with the advice of the Hebrew man, him that advised me, and they all answered the king and said, The counsel which the Hebrew has given concerning this is good. Now therefore, our Lord and king, behold, the whole land is in your hand. Do that which seems good in your sight. Him whom you choose and whom you in your wisdom know to be wise and capable of delivering the land with the wisdom, him will the king appoint to be under him over the land. And the king said to all the officers, I have thought that since God has made known to the Hebrew man all that he has spoken, there is none so discreet and wise in the whole land as he is. If it seem good in your sight, I will place in him place him over the land, for he will save the land of, with his wisdom. And all the officers answered the king and said, But surely it is written in the laws of Egypt and it should not be violated that no man will reign over Egypt, nor the second to the king, but one who has knowledge of all the languages of the sons of men. Now, therefore, our Lord and king, behold, this Hebrew man can only speak the Hebrew language. And how then can be he be over us, the second under government, a man who not even knows our language? Now we pray you send for him and let him come before you and prove him in all things and do as you see fit. And the king said, It will be done tomorrow, and the, and the thing that you have spoken is good. And all the officers came on that day before the king, and on that night the Lord sent one of his ministering angels. And he came into the land of Egypt unto Joseph, and the angel of the Lord stood over Joseph. And behold, Joseph was lying in bed at night in his master's house in the dungeon, for his master had put him back into the dungeon on account of his wife. And the angel roused him from his sleep. And Joseph rose up and stood upon his legs, and behold, the angel of the Lord was standing opposite to him. And the angel of the Lord spoke with Joseph, and he taught him all the languages of man in that night, and he called his name Jehoseph. And the angel of the Lord went from him, and Joseph returned and lay upon his bed, and Joseph was astonished at the vision which he saw. And it came to pass in the morning and that the king sent for all his officers and servants, and they all came and sat before the king, and the king ordered Joseph to be brought. And the king's servants went and brought Joseph before Pharaoh. And the king came out of and ascended the steps of the throne, and Joseph spoke unto the king in all languages. And Joseph went up to, the him, to him and spoke unto the king until he arrived before the king in the seventieth step. And he sat before the king. And the king greatly rejoiced on account of Joseph, and all the king's officers rejoiced greatly with the king when they heard all the words of Joseph. And the, gen and the thing seemed good in the sight of the king and the officers to appoint Joseph to be second to the king over the whole land of Egypt. And the king spoke to Joseph, saying, Now you did give me a counsel to appoint a wise man over the land of Egypt in order with his wisdom to save the land from the famine. Now, therefore, since God has made all this known to you and all the words which you have spoken, there is none throughout the land a discreet and wise man like you. And your name no more will be called Joseph, but Zephna, Panah, will be your name. You will be second to me, and according to your word will be all the affairs of my government, and at your word will my people go out and come in. And from under your hand will my servants and officers receive their salary, which is given to them monthly. And to you will all the people of the land bow down. Only in my throne will I be greater than you. And the king took off his ring from his hand and put it upon the hand of Joseph. And the king dressed Joseph in a princely garment. And he put a golden crown upon his head. And he put a golden chain upon his neck. 
And the king commanded his servants and made him ride in the second chariot belonging to the king and went opposite to the king's chariot. And he caused him to ride upon a great and strong horse from the king's horses and to be conducted through the streets of the land of Egypt. Amen.